I nominate the memoirs of John Addington Simmons. He's the most famous Victorian writer you've never heard of. He published lots of things in his life, but his private story couldn't be told until recently, and it's a fascinating insight into Victorian sexual cultures. The Salt Road by Nalo Hopkinson. Um, it's a fantastic read, and um, at the heart of the novel uh, is a sort of depiction of um, the diversity of race and sexuality, which I think is quite rare in mainstream fiction. Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson, because when I was growing up it was pretty game-changing to see an LGBT story about a girl who was my age and English. Love Town by Michał Witkowski, which is a wonderful account of the Polish gay life in the communist uh, Poland in the 1970s and the 1980s, but also in the 1990s, uh, so wonderfully capturing the uh, transformation from communism to democracy and capitalism. Krista Winslow's Das Mädchen Manuela, The Child Manuela. It's a classic of the boarding school genre and it's about the relationship of a young girl with her female teacher.